Hi everybody, my name is Annie and today I'm going to be talking about AI content. And for those of you who haven't heard about ChatGPT, where have you been? I'm going to share with you an awesome walkthrough video how AI can speed up your content creation. But before we dive in, there was a lot of buzz on the internet about ChatGPT, about how AI is so advanced, and honestly, some people were concerned how AI could take away our jobs. And for a content marketer like me, I really wanted to dive in with an expert to really hear what he has to say about AI content. So I invited Alex Burkett from Be Omniscient Agency, and he is going to share with you guys how he uses AI, what are the things that to look out for, and what are the things that AI cannot really do that you should take advantage of today. So let's dive into the video. I am Alex Burkett. I am the co-founder at Omniscient Digital. So we are a content growth and SEO agency that helps B2B brands scale and turn content into a growth channel. In the past, I worked at CXL, HubSpot, Workato, generally on the growth and experimentation side. And I've been building this agency with my co-founders for the last almost four years. So we've, we've been at it for a little bit. And I also write on my own personal blog. So I think that's gonna be the example that I give from today um, because I've been experimenting a ton on my personal sandbox of alexburka.com with incorporating AI into the, the publication process. Let's just start with the presentation and let's uh, see what uh, process you've got. I've got just four slides on the slide deck just to give me a little uh, table setting, a little mise en place for the conversation. So the topic here is how to leverage AI and content creation. And this is lessons learned. My personal sandbox, there are a million ways to use AI, but these are the ways that I've found it to be fruitful and interesting and productive. So I want to caveat this with, with a little um, disclaimer. So artificial intelligence is very hot right now, and there's all kinds of conversation around like chat GPT replacing writers and like our content writers still valuable. And I think from my personal experience, as well as my theoretical understanding of artificial intelligence, AI is a tool to help you do better work, to do better work faster. It's not a replacement. It's all about speeding things up. Um, and then finally we'll repurpose and I use writer or Jasper to do this, but I found this keyword and I always start in Ahrefs. This is where I do my keyword research. So we've got 350 search volume and actually this, this tool, this keywords explorer gives you a good starting point for which questions and whatnot to put into the blog post as well. Now, these are things that if I'm writing a piece, I'm going to naturally ask anyway, if the keyword is creative copywriting, the first question in my mind is, what does that mean? What is creative copywriting? And we can use these AI tools to, to help us get a definition as well. But these could, if you didn't have access to the other tools, start forming a creative brief as well. But we'll start with that keyword. We've got our document open, and then I'm gonna pop into phrase. And phrase is awesome. They're a multi-prong tool. They use AI to help you build content briefs, optimize towards that keyword. And they also have a, a AI a text generator as well, like Jasper and ChatGPT. So I'll pop in here and, um, oh, my website loaded. So this style of article, right? A lot of stuff, it's, it's semi-templatized, but like I can, you know, inject my own personality and takes as well. But th these are not like crazy thought leadership essays. Like I'm probably not gonna use AI for the most part for those since it's all original thought. These are things where I'm kind of summarizing like features and, and um, just kind of explaining common concepts. Okay, so I'll create a new document here. The target keyword is creative copywriting. So what this does is it basically reverse engineers the search results pages. So typically, if you were gonna do this manually, you would go to a search results page, search the term, look at what ranks. You got Jasper here, uh, a couple sponsored posts. And then you just kind of see what the intent is. So it looks like this is informational. I can see here there's examples. What is a creative copywriter? This is definitional. Um, there's even a service page, which is pretty interesting. So it's a kind of split intent, which means we'll probably have to hit multiple. Um, we'll have to answer multiple questions within the content if we have the best chances of ranking. But even just from a quick glance, I can see that I'm probably gonna do something informational, such as this, kind of an ultimate guide, or what is creative copywriting, plus examples or something like that. But luckily this tool actually gives me a lot of these, um, these headline suggestions. So I can just uh, analyze here. This is the research, there's an outline tool, and then the optimize, which gives you a score to, to aim towards. But you can see here, it's actually just ingesting all of the copy on these pages, taking the headlines, taking the subheadlines, taking the copy within those headlines and those sections and producing suggestions for me to write about. 
And this is just gonna be the format, the foundation. I'm gonna take this as a suggestion. It's not necessarily the exact approach that I'm gonna go, go towards because I still wanna introduce my own thoughts about the topic. Okay, so we can see here, there's some headline suggestions. We've got creative copywriting, what is it? What does a creative copywriter do? Is copywriting a creative career? Um, how can I be a creative guy? So this is about like the, the individual, the copywriter. So we'll wanna do some examples too. People love examples. But if I were to just, uh, you know, start start from scratch here, I'd say probably some headlines are gonna be, in a... you know, a question that I would have is like, how does creative copywriting differ from other types of, of copywriting or what other types are there? Because um, in my mind, there's like conversion copywriting, there's SEO copywriting. So I, I'm gonna answer that in relation to the what is creative copywriting as well. So I don't know if this is gonna be the exact headline. And uh, in phrase, do you, can't you just like copy from phrase right now or do you do this manually? I do all this manually because what this is doing is it's actually pulling literally from each, um, each blog post and I don't wanna copy somebody else's blog post or even the format. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit more idiosyncratic. If this is more templatized, I might be able to do something like that, but I'm just taking this to kind of learn what's working in the SERPs. Oh, okay, so you don't even write about this. phrase right now because uh, I see they have a um, note or like a writing part. Yeah, so they actually have an AI tool as well. Um, I don't, I mean, I like it. I, I just use Jasper more. Like well, yeah. there's so many AI writing tools yeah, at this point. Sorry. That's a good point though. I could probably just use one tool. <laughs> I, I use like six different tools, which is not everybody's uh, cup of tea. Oh, no, 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 fine. Just, sorry. I'm excited no, on that. It's all good. So I'm gonna add probably a section for how to become a creative copywriter and uh, maybe uh, creative copywriting tools because I do affiliate links. So I'm probably gonna add some tools that help out and some of those might be some AI tools. And then this is gonna be an introduction here. These are gonna be individual sections, but also, so here's the next part. This is, it, I'm kind of working in tandem. This is like my thoughts and this is from Phrase, but I'm also gonna go over to Surfer and Surfer is gonna have the ability to create a report kind of like that. And they actually have similar uh, briefing tools, but I use Surfer more so as an optimization tool because what they'll do is they'll give you a report so based on creative copywriting keyword, shows you the search volume tool too, which is cool. So this is creating an optimization report for me. And then I'm also going to go in Jasper and this is semi helpful. It's helpful for me. I don't know if it's going to be helpful for everybody, but Jasper has this tool called one shot blog post. And again, it's not amazing, but it's going to give you the entire, um, the entire blog post in one, one swoop. I'll just do what is creative copywriting because it's not going to be able to come up with examples for me. I'm going to write in my tone of voice. I don't know if this actually pulls my tone of voice, but who knows? And then obviously it's going to be copywriters, marketers, maybe SEOs. So this will generate three outputs for me that I can choose from. And again, I'm not looking for perfection here. I'm, I would never publish what this gives me just straight up. You shouldn't do that with any of these AI copy tools because um, one, it's not great. And two, if you can do it that easily, all of your competitors can too. Thus, you have no alpha, you have no competitive advantage. Okay, so the difference with phrase here is you can see the, the most prominent aspect here is the content score. So we're gonna aim for a high score here. It gives me suggestions in terms of word count, headings, paragraphs, images, and then it gives me keyword suggestions too. So I often use this as the last piece in the process. I often write the piece before I look at all of this stuff, and then I try to optimize towards this if it creates a better piece. I'm not gonna just take these suggestions blindly. I'm just gonna name my, name my draft here. They have an SEO mode that integrates with Surfer, so it's perfect. It can stay in one tool. You could actually do everything here if you'd like, but we can see the exact same report that I have in my Surfer dashboard. And I'll just write the majority of it here. So this is gonna be the title. Um, maybe here's a section on what is creative copywriting. Now here you could use Jasper actually um, to fill in those details. Um, I'm just gonna use command J, which just tells it to um, basically write given the context of the rest of the blog post. You can also do recipes and commands. So similar to ChatGPT, I could write something like define creative copywriting 
and then I could highlight that and hit command enter and it's gonna basically take that as the command mm -hmm. or write something different there that's awesome Pretty similar, actually. And you can also use ChatGPT for this. They're all using similar underlying technology. And again, this is just a starting point. Let's delete that one. Let's say that's a pretty good introduction. Uh, creative versus traditional copywriting. Benefits of creative copywriting. And then what were our other sections? How to become a creative copywriter. Now we can create that as, as a section here. Um, again, I'm just going to let Jasper run for me. Mm -hmm. I just want to, again, caveat that I am not just going to use all of this. I just don't have the time to actually like write out my words and thoughts. Yeah. Like yeah. there's a whole extra hour or two that comes after this where I'm actually like, hey, this is what I think about creative copywriting. Um, oh, and then um, creative copywriting examples. And that's the section that uh, Jasper is going to have a very hard time giving me because they don't necessarily know the context of what an example would be. Uh, ChatGPT to analyze podcast transcripts. So I've done a bunch, a bunch of podcasts with copywriters. And this is cool. So we basically like pull the transcripts here and, and have key takeaways and they talk about copy. So I want to add some subject matter expertise into these. And I'm going to go over to ChatGPT uh, and basically say, will you... Will you summarize this and pull the quotes out? Um, so the prompt is everything. This is this is the hard part is trying to figure out a way to actually ask it to do what you want it to do. Okay, so here's a couple quotes here. I'm not gonna like fact check these too hard. I'm just gonna add these in. So okay, so I would pull some quotes. I would do some additional research. I'm gonna find my examples. I'm gonna beef up the piece. It's good. This is a C minus. This is a D plus. This is not a good draft. I would never publish this. I'm gonna make this an A plus. I care about quality. Yeah. Oh yeah, so this is a beta tool. I believe it's a beta tool right now. Um, I just stumbled upon this and Jasper has the same features. A lot of these tools have the same features. I could do this in chat GPT. I don't know why. I've just found this ask writer to be very good at repurposing. Your mileage may vary, but it's, it's another AI uh, a text generator and um, this this is kind of like modeled after chat GPT it's a conversational interface writer differentiates because they have brand and style and tone guidelines that you can create across all of the users on the platform so for brand and creative teams trying to uh, create guardrails for like what kind of language a brand would use it's, it's very good for that Jasper also has those features now so a lot of these companies are coming up with these guardrails but um, I found this does a good job at like just producing interesting voices um, instead of just generic you know ChatGPT sometimes gives me really generic stuff. Yeah. I want to create, a, I, I use viral, I use Twitter thread, by the way, because for some reason it doesn't understand like the LinkedIn format, but I can just take the Twitter thread and make it into a LinkedIn post. And so what I do here, there's again, a lot of creative prompting that goes on, but I always think, all right, what would be a cool voice or a cool writer? It doesn't have my voice, but if, if I come up with somebody who whose writing style I like that is more popular, I can use them. So, you know, summar summarize it into a Twitter thread in the voice of, I could say like Ryan Holiday or Tim Ferriss or a writer that has a lot of uh, public uh, information and like they're kind of a public um, thought leader. So I'll use uh, uh, in the voice of Tim Ferriss. Twitter thread in the voice of Tim. All right, we'll see if it actually works. Again, these are, not perfect tools yet. Awesome. And is this a paid tool or is it free? I think this is free. Okay. Yeah. Hey, so sometimes it's kind yeah. of corny. It's like, hey, it Tim is. Ferriss here. <laughs> <laughs> but realistically, I could take this and um, I'm not going to use this because this is kind of corny, but um, I would say like, you know, website copywriting is crucial to conversions. Um, most people do copywriting wrong or whatever the hooks that are working are like that's kind of a human copywriting exercise but then you could basically take this and split it out obviously like um take the numbers away and say like these are the tips you know um so it's it's all right it's it's not the best but i i often use this to at least provoke my um my yeah. thoughts with regards to repurposing and that's generally, so this is the, the way speeded up framework. Like, again, I'm going to spend another couple hours writing that blog post, adding imagery, optimizing the title tag, all of that good stuff to make sure that it's actually good and actually my own thoughts. But that's how I use AI. 
to basically take the research process from about i would say in the past three to five hours down to about uh, 30 minutes to two hours depending on the topic my, my question though is like why do you separate chat gpt from jasper if jasper is like basically has everything you know i've started using jasper a lot more um because they do have a chat feature now um and actually <laughs> I shouldn't just promote Jasper all the time, but uh, I do love the tool. And yeah, actually, you can see some of my past uh, prompts here. So I'm like, hey, summarize this article in five prompts. So they have a chat tool that's just as good, if not better than ChatGPT. And something I like about it is you can include recent search results, which you can't do with ChatGPT. They, I think, only go up to like 2021. So I could say, um, what's the actual difference between creative copywriting and other types of copywriting. And this is gonna pull a bunch of results from the SERPs as well as from its own corpus of knowledge. And it's gonna give me uh, uh, sources that I can cite. So this is really good as well. All right, and if you want to start your own website but you don't know where to start, we got our free tutorial on YouTube and we walk you through exactly how to build a WordPress website for free. Okay, so make sure you check out Alex's podcast and Alex's uh, website in the link description below and uh, hopefully he also inspired you to start your own personal brand and online presence.